So guys, it's time for the video probably none of you have been waiting for, but it's one that I am excited to produce. Welcome to this, well, welcome to my FIFA 18 icon Thierry Henry player review. Now before we continue, this video was recorded at the FIFA 18 capture event, so thank you once again to EA Sports for inviting me to that, because... It just turned out that it was just meant to be. I was sat there, day one of the capture event, opening some packs, and it happened. I packed an icon, and as the old saying goes, it just had to be Thierry Henry. Anyway, moving on, before we get into the gameplay and all that good stuff, in the comments below, let me know what players you want me to do a player review on in the future. If you could leave a like on the video, that would be awesome. For this one video, for this Thierry Henry icon review, let's just smash the likes. Let's get well over 500. We can do it. I know we can. We used to actually get over 1,000 likes on this channel regularly on videos, so 500 we can definitely do. Right then, let's look at this beautiful card. This, of course, is not actually his best version. There are three versions of him, and I'll put them all on the screen right now. We actually have the middle one, and hopefully at some point, hopefully, please, I'll get the chance to use that prime striker one at some point in the year. Anyway, it's going to be the 90 rated left edge card for today's review. And look at the stats. They do look great. In-game stats-wise, we no longer have to get into a game and pause it to get them, which is a nice feature added by EA. You can just see them on the card now, and that means that I don't have to rush through the stats like I had in previous FIFA player reviews. Anyway, where shall we start? I guess we'll go for that 91 finishing, which is obviously a standout, and you'll see why in the clip. Just like it was in real life, in-game, he is clinical. The agility is worth noting too for a big man, do remember Henri is 6 foot 2, he's brilliant on the ball, great close control and he can be an absolute nightmare to dispossess of the ball. I think it's time we moved on so I can show you what this card is like in action, in game, but before we do that I do want to quickly add that some of these games are actually against pro players and you'll probably be able to guess which ones are against pro players by the scoreline, but nevertheless Henri, no matter what opposition he came up against, he made sure that he contributed to the scoreboard. So we're into the clips now and you're going to be wondering, Kieran, why have you started off with some pretty poor clips. I've actually started like this on purpose. I've done it so you guys can see me gradually getting better with Henri. As you've seen, the first two clips weren't anything special. However, I wanted you to see that I started off quite slowly with him, but once I got used to him, once I got used to the gameplay, that he started to thrive in the team and got involved a lot more. So, on to the first clip of him scoring actually a pretty good goal, well, a decent goal anyway. Left-footed strike into the far net. Now, Henri's left foot in front of goal was like a five-star weak foot at times. His left foot was absolutely clinical once he got going with him because the power shot across goal was just working every single time. And if the power shot didn't work, the driven shot would. So, you know, in front of goal, it's like Henri has a five-star weak foot. That's how I felt anyway. And then once I got used to him fully, I knew I could start taking advantage of him on the ball. He's very strong, very agile, and he just holds defenders off with ease as he just runs through them and puts the ball in the back of the net. I had a lot of fun running with this guy despite his balance not being brilliant, which is something I will discuss later on in the review. However, I do want to show you a few of the better goals that I scored with him, which will be coming up very soon. But what you'll see consistently in these clips is Henri getting into the right positions. His positioning was absolutely fantastic for me. Despite the medium, medium work rates, he was always getting in the right position. And even if he's not in like the most forward position from distance, as you'll see, he is lethal, especially with that distance finesse shot. That was just hitting the back of the net nearly every time. If you give this guy space, he is going to punish you. And once again, look at that. What did I say about his left foot? Absolute bullet into the top corner of the far net. And that was just a brilliant, brilliant finish. So let's go over the usual foot card talking points. Pace, check. Even for a big man, he feels quick. Breaks away from defenders with ease like he did in real life. And if you match up versus a rapid defender, if he's not going to beat him for pace, he does have the strength to hold him off. Dribbling on the ball, TT was an absolute joy to use. Great close control and fast on the break. Once again, his physicality comes into play, combining with his dribbling and ball skills, allowing him to control the ball even well in tight situations. I should also add skill moves for a tall player. He didn't feel heavy like some players do. He felt very fluid on the ball. Shooting wise, you've seen he's clinical. You've seen him score from distance. You've seen him score one of your ones, headers, left foot, right foot. In fact, the only thing you haven't seen him score is a set piece. And that's just down to me 
be pretty bad at free kicks and stuff. So uh, yeah, you'll have absolutely no issue scoring goal with this card, I promise you that. Ori's passing was good as well, I wouldn't say it was like spectacular, but it was good enough. The short passing was excellent and very useful for, you know, stuff like the quick one twos and the link up playing. And as you can imagine, despite me using him on the left side, most of the time I was cutting in and not thinking about crossing. But even when I did whip a ball in or two, for the most part, it was accurate. Physically, the guy is strong. I had no issues with his stamina either, but I do have to mention one slight negative, which was the balance, which at some point, I do have to say, did cause a bit of a problem. Anyway, as a whole, this icon Thierry Henry was just, it was awesome. It was really fun to use, and he just seems to be a natural finisher in game. So, anyway, those are my thoughts on this brand new Icon Thierry on Recard. Let me know yours in the comments below. If you could leave a like on the video, that would be awesome. Thanks for watching, and as always, I will catch you in the next one.